Yo, what's up YouTube? It's SH Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking out Dream Notes Comeback with Wish. I believe this is a single album. Either way, I'm checking this out three days late. I'm sorry. I have to check them out because I remember seeing them during pre-debut with their busking videos on social media here and there into their fun, bright but safe debut into their first comeback with Hakuna Matata I believe it was more unconventional and loud which made me think wow this is definitely different from other releases out there I probably started loving it knowing that it's the same producer who did Love Bomb for From Us 9 but it grew on me and I loved it and then we have the here wish I'm really curious in what direction they're pushing toward as a group as an identity and in terms of their sound anyways let's just get into the shall we and play my intro <laughs> All right, wish. Ooh. Okay, I'm loving the synth so far. These pastel color sets. Oh my goodness. Guys, I think Suman might be my bias. Something is definitely building up here until like a climax. Oh, I see you, Lara. Alright, here we go. Oh wow! That was such a beautiful climax. Like the vocals are so smooth and clear coming out this instrumental. Ooh. Enjo, right? There's sort of the, like this funky disco feel to this song, and I'm loving it. Ooh, did you guys hear that? Man, the vocals are so clean in this. And I'm loving the choreo too. And what I'm seeing in the choreo, they're like using their outfits in part of the choreo, like sort of like a long ribbon. Okay, something's going on. Oh, yes. This is what I needed. Like, we rarely get these, like, something like this these days. Bright colors coming out in the MV. And what works with it so well is the members. They're just gleaming throughout the MV with the choreo.
and the vocals just elevate it to another level. It's crazy. This release got me loving Dream Note like way more. It's crazy. I'm really curious how they're gonna continue this because before it was really loud, unconventional, but this is unconventional, but not that loud, you know what I'm saying? From their first comeback. Wish got me, like, I don't know, I don't really like to compare things these days, but sort of that um, retro, funky, disco sounds, like, coming from, like, Boogie Up, sort of, but not as loud. But what the loudness comes from is their vocals. It just comes through the instrumental, it pierces through, and it gets you emotionally somewhat about dreaming on and wishing and me going for your goals in life and somewhat symbolic in this mv would definitely have to be the plants and the climax into the mv i loved the pre-chorus in the song the chorus i love i just loved everything about this i've been saying this a lot now these days in 2020 and that's a good thing to see all these groups coming out with bops and a half i'm just disappointed that this song does not have like at least half a mil views by now since it's been like three days for dream notes mv definitely gonna have to check out some performances here and there and get to know these members nor more i know majority of their names it was all due to Lara being a Luna stan and <laughs> just loving Luna like I do. And then as I got into Lara busking videos and everything, I got into other members and Sue Min, she got my eyes. And I, the one final thing that I'd like to add with this release is it goes to show you, you don't need an insane rap lines at all to have a good comeback a good song and that's what rocket punch did and other groups did it may be hard to pull off but when you pull off it's a one like this is what dream note did with wish and they killed it let me know what you guys think about their comeback here with wish i absolutely loved it and let me know if you have your bias down below in the comment section have a great day, have a good night wherever you are, take care and peace.